we are in the Mazda CX-30 with Tana and Chiang. This is the base spec 128K CX-30. To give you a bit of a background, the CX-30 is now locally assembled in Malaysia and Burmas has standardized the engine offering. So previously when it was CBU, they had the choice of 2-litre front-wheel drive, 2-litre all-wheel drive, then they also have the 1.8 diesel. Now CKD is standard all 2-litre petrol front-wheel drive, but there are four different specs on offer. We are testing the most basic one at 128,000 ringgit. At the other end of the range is 158,000 ringgit for the top spec model. And this is a very thick user's manual. So what have you found for us, Tana? <laughs> God! Woo! Woo! That's a lot to digest, man. So those are... And it's only English. It's not even much language. Wow! Only English. Well, reading the fucking manual ain't so easy for this car, eh? Oh my god. <laughs> but overall, what do you think of this car, Tana? Does this feel like a 128,000 ringgit environment? To yes. You? It does, huh? I mean, specs-wise, some of the features are a bit kurang, but with soft touch plastics here, if you compare this with its segment rivals, Corolla Cross, the Honda HRV. The Corolla Cross is very popular. I see the merits of that car, mm. but every time when I drive the Corolla Cross, right, mm. somehow I can just feel that they cost down from the Corolla Altis. And the mm. HRV now, like we recently experienced, mm. yeah, the HRV hybrid isn't an impressive to drive, but I think the HRV's interior build quality has improved tremendously from the previous model. Mm. But this CX-30, I think, still manages to feel that bit better than the, the HRV. La. But, uh, but the Toyota Corolla Cross, mm -hmm. that interior and that uh, features the gadgets in the car, yeah. it's quite nice. La. Mm. The Corolla Cross wins in terms of features, what it has, mm -hmm. the input yeah. system, the yeah. Android yeah. autoplay, yeah. all that stuff yeah. is good. Yeah. But, but the Mazda has got this touch of luxury. Eh? Yeah, you see, the thing is this, right? When you sit inside the CX-30 and you sit inside the Corolla Cross, right? Let's ignore the pricing for a while. Yes. The impression that you get is the CX-30 cost more oh, yeah. for the manufacturer to build that car. Right. Right? And and the thing is that we know that here in this CX-30, this base model where they deleted a lot of barang, but you still can see that they put effort in, you know, at the build mm. quality, at the material it's selection. It's like this, lah. Sometimes when you do a delete, you know, ah. they'll take out stuff mm -hmm. which makes you remember that it's a cheaper version at every single point in time. Yes. Like, oh, it's missing that. I'm poor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, they took out certain stuff, but yeah. I don't see it. I don't see what's missing yep. until I see the other car. Ah, yes, yes. So, you, you because like when we get in just now, killer's entry. Yeah. You got killer's entry, yep. right? And let me just find a place to, to safely stop. Oh, reverse camera. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Right. But no sensor. No sensor. Fine. Fine. <laughs> but you got reverse camera, so at least right. If I got, don't know why mother does this, sir. Got if got let's say I got dog behind, got cat behind, or my kids playing behind, I can see it, right? I yeah. can I, I can see it. I I'm okay to to. to and do. the camera here is way sharper than the. Oh yeah, of course. Quick blink, blink I saw was like way sharper. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So mm. it's, it, it, I think even at basic spec, mm. even when you look from outside, yeah, it's halogen mm. uh, lights, it's uh, small wheels that which can be easily. All well, I, the, the, the wheels didn't. I'm not really a. It doesn't put me off la. Yeah, yeah. You know. But the thing is that it it takes care of the basics. You know, mm. you got keyless entry. It looks good. Yeah, Rear camera. The, it, it looks good actually. Yeah. No, what else yeah. done on the and outside? Looks good. This is a, a very basic manual zinc single zone climate control system. Manual mm -hmm. aircon, but you see, the tactile is damn good. Bro. How do you know what the, the temperature on this car? You don't. You only set hot, cold, and blower speed. That's it. This is no different from like how you control your aircon in a proton Vira. No, control, okay. Ah. Oh, Vira. Yeah. Oh, Vira. Right? It's, yeah, it is no, basically, Vira basically, this is like you set <laughs> how cold. You set the. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, but you know, can we go build a little modern? Let's say a lot of Vira. Uh, Saga? Ah yeah yeah so yeah. I got control uh, of the is it show? It's like this ah, uh, right? You said uh, you 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 can choose the blower speed. Then you can choose the whether you want the 
the air con cooling power okay. at maximum. But what is then done? The temperature gauge on, the, on most cars are 16 mm. or 18 or whatever. Uh. All that's fake, la. Ah. It's not real, la. You know, ah. you go to a, your AC shop guy. Yeah. He will test for you. Yeah. Never accurate. Yeah. So okay, yeah. La, I can live with that. You can live with that. Yeah, I can live with that. Oh. Uh, so I'm surprised. No uh, menu on the screen. Or it tells you your time, your communication, navigation. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And of course, Mazda, in their in their wisdom, they decided to remove touch screen as a thing. They push the the monitor all the way forward. You have to control everything from the from the rotary now because they don't want it to distract driver too much mm. i had this i think huh? they made the car such a way that uh -huh. even if you touch the screen yeah you can't touch you can't touch it just by without moving your shoulder so yeah so sit it back yeah yeah Pull your arm there. Yeah, you have to move. No, no, no put your arm, put your back. Yeah. yeah. So if your if your back if your back is to this, yeah. you can't reach the screen yeah. as is. Yeah. It's by design. Yeah. If not, your hands will go there and flick around. Yes. So most cars, the screen is a bit more further yes. up. Yes. Because they want you to touch the screen. Yeah. A hey, right comfort is not bad, right? Yeah. I mean, we have uh, the we will need to re-examine the high spec model with the bigger rims, but. The benefit of us driving the standard spec now with the with the smaller rims and thicker tires, right comfort definitely would have benefited. Mm. Right. And <laughs> you know, right now we are driving in the back roads of USJ. The right comfort is so good. Eh? Yeah. Right? I love the fact the interior. Huh? See, this is something uh, it takes balls to get, carry off, you know. Yes, this color, my god. The whole, the whole blue thing. Uh. I think if you know the old Mercedes, yes. they've got this blue thing. Yes. And uh, all the luxurious model of the Mercedes, yeah. the E-Class and I think the S-Class yes. came with this blue. Yes. Uh, some fancy color named blue, like, you know. Oh. And, and, and not all cars can pull this off. Yes. For any ma manufacturer who dares to pull off a color different than black, is mm. damn good, man. But look at this, sir. Uh. Mm. You know how the car is low spec? Mm. This is all this color. Yeah. Look at the back seat. Show, yeah. Show, show. yeah. This one is plastic. Yeah. It's a it's a molding. Yeah. But the hand rest. Yeah. When you touch. Yeah. So they've omitted the top one. Mm. But the bottom one is still there. Still there. The leather yeah. is still there. Yeah. This, by the way, I believe is leather. It is. It is. So it the, is. so the seats are, are fabric. Yes. But the touch points of the car. Yeah. Are leather. Yeah. 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 So it's it's quite it's it's quite commendable. Eh? Mm. For low spec, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. The I think the key differentiation between the low spec and the higher spec variants is that the higher spec you get a dust. This one does not. Yeah. Right. Sunroof. Yeah. And and uh, you still get uh, the high spec instrument cluster here. The sen the digital the speedometer is a digital screen. Because this is not a BMW. Yes. Ah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and and Chiang, if you can if you can bring the if you can bring my camera here, right? You can see. This is the, the I really like the way Mazda does it is that they actually created a very this is a center this is a screen this whole area is a screen yeah. but they create in such a way that the appearance is so harmonious all right that it does not it's not too distracting on the eyes yeah. for some people they may find it's not fancy enough I think it's clean yeah. but it's clean right it's it's clean. It's, it's pleasant it's nice the for chrome, the chrome ring around yeah. the uh, the meter cluster yeah it's nice yes you know yeah only thing I'll do differently on this car, uh -huh. on the Amitra Castle was, you know how they got 0, 20 and 40? Yeah. I would make the fonts bigger mm -hmm. and make those lines smaller. Mm. So I'm so busy. Yeah. Like, like a watch manufacturer, they make yeah. a dial. Yeah. They talk about being busy and being yeah. clean. Yeah. I would have made the fonts bigger so that it's, it's a bit more big. If you see the mm. 1, to, 1 to 8, the, the RPM, the right? The fonts are a bit bigger. Yeah. But the 0 to 2, 2 to 60, it's um, mm. a little on the higher side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the only thing. But well, wow. Kuro is a very nice, very clean, very you pleasant. You see, leather here. Far away. This is a low, and this is a low spec car. Away. No, for one to eight, uh, compared to the Toyota Cross, uh, Cross, right? Yeah. Or even let's say, like, what what else can you get at at, at this price? You can't get a Civic anymore. X fifty high spec. Or X fifty high spec. Okay, like X fifty winner. Yeah. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. It's X fifty, right? But that's a Mazda. The Proton is a Mazda. Yeah. Yeah. And this one is non non turbo. Yeah. NA. Yeah. It pulls nicely and smooth. Uh, X50 nice. will scream a bit. Yes. Uh, this gearbox is way, way better. Yeah. Six speed you, torque you, converter. You forgot there's a gearbox there. Yes, yes. <laughs> Got spot mode! Eh? Okay. Got spot mode! Yeah. Alright. So. Yeah. My, my wife saw the, the 30 and, like, wow, this car looks good. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah. It's yeah. a good looking car. Yeah. I think last year we did a video together on this, or two years ago we did a video together on the CX30 and now we find ourselves in the CX30. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? Yes, yes, yes. I 
am loving interior. But Tana, here's a question that that a lot of, that's that that's often debated. Mm. Given a choice, let's say like you are shopping, right? Would for for this kind of budget, would you CX thirty or would you CX five? Because when this this CX five any day, bro. Because CX five is a better value product. But 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 mm. CX thirty is flexing, bro. Yes. <laughs> if you drive a CX five, yeah. it's like yeah, I got a nice car, yeah. nice luxury looking car. Yeah. But if you buy a thirty, uh, yeah, you are flexing. The car the car looks expensive. The car looks like wow, real nice all choices you made. But you know, here's the thing. Um, I have a my mom has a CX five at home. Mm. My brother in Singapore has a CX thirty. Mm. So I'm quite familiar with both these cars, right? Um, one of the things I feel when I drive the CX-5 and CX-30 uh, back to back hmm? is that, yes, the CX-5, right, if you look at it objectively, on paper, you know, in terms of your your money for metal, right, you can't, you can't argue against the CX-5 value. Obviously, yeah. Right? But somehow, because the CX-30 is built on the newer gen Master 3 platform, hmm. you can feel that this is a newer generation car. The refinement levels in the CX-30 versus the CX-5, uh, there is, to me, a noticeable step up when you go from CX-5 to CX-30. CX-30, mm. when you drive it, mm. it feels like a race sedan. Yeah. The CX-5 feel like an SUV. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. they are just different products yeah. all together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a, very, it's, it's a nice and pleasant car. Eh? Mm. Wow, look at that. Clear road. So, of course, it's not turbocharged kind of acceleration, but it's it's good pull it's smooth right and the engine is uh is willing and eager and now we are coming up to his bend this is sport or uh normal mode we can sport mode it now very stable Fuyo. <laughs> but i must say uh -huh. um the car feels fast. Yes. yes. It feels faster than what it is going at. Yes. <laughs> yes. The same speed on a CX-5, yeah. you won't feel that as much yeah. um, road feel. Yeah. This one gives you that oh, engagement. Five yeah. or thirty. Five for me, actually. Yeah. I mean, you do, if you look at it from purely objective viewpoint, uh, you can't argue against CX-5. Huh? It's like comparing an Audi A5 versus uh, uh, Arteon. Yeah. Or even a three series like Arteon. Yeah. Arteon is the clearer winner. Yeah. Yeah. But you can still buy three series, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overall, very, very nice race. I mean, when it was fully imported, during time it was fully imported, the pricing was a bit on the high side. But that's now, yeah. yeah. But now, as a CKD, at this price, cannot argue already. Really. Yeah, this now goes against the Toyotas. Yeah. Which the, the, the Toyota and the Mazda mm. are just two different leagues. Mm. Mazda is in a higher premium yeah. market compared yeah. to the Toyota. So yeah. the fact you get a Mazda yeah. for the price of a Toyota, yeah. that's a good yeah. good deal. I think the, the one thing that, uh, that the Corolla Cross has in its favor all right, is that um, I have to say that like, the Corolla Cross is a car that I feel I would feel more comfortable abusing compared to the CX-30 really? yeah I mean if let's say like if I if I want to use the if I'm using the Corolla Cross just you know every day just to whack the miles and all right I would or it's just to use something to use and not something so much to enjoy the Corolla Cross probably probably is the one that I would go for but if I want that a bit more of a dynamic sparkle. I would, I would, I would more think the opposite. No. Because the Toyota Cross hmm? is what? Turbo? No lah. NA what? 1.8 NA. Sorry. Uh, oh, Cross is a, it's a NA. Yes. Or hybrid. Hybrid lah. Sorry. Hybrid. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't right. do the hybrid yeah. lah. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hybrid. Yeah. And it has got that funny gearbox, that whole uh, first gear is... Um, uh, it's, a, it's a gear. First gear yeah. is a gear yeah. and yeah. the rest of the gears are all yeah. uh, uh, CVT or whatever. So it's got very fancy stuff like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. There are a lot more tech in the cross mm. compared to this one. Mm. So that's why I would be confident of packing, I mean, using this car oh. opposed to the cross. A lot of powertrain tech. Powertrain track, a lot of uh, other stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of this tech, that tech. Yeah, the yeah. car is full of tech. Yeah. You know, yeah. compared to this car. But, this car is simple. But this car, the interior, it feels nice. It feels special. Mm. Right? For 128k, right? <laughs> it's a more solid interior than a Mercedes A-Class. Are you 
A class is just better because of the colors, yeah. the ambient lighting, because the chrome, and then the small circle on the steering. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's a Mercedes. It's a Mercedes. <laughs> this is the CX30 from the outside. What do you think, Tana? Okay, this one really gets the eye now, lah. Not really. Not really. Eh? It's okay with you. I'm okay with it. I mean, I think the whole idea of bigger rims, mm -hmm. when the car is, how to say, uh, it's a car or sedan, mm -hmm. and it's going to be lowered, mm -hmm. then you want to have uh, more rim color mm -hmm. and body color to match. Mm -hmm. But on this design, because it's a cladding, ah, cover, yes. this is a more of an SUV 4x4 mm -hmm. feel mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. So any 4x4 that looks good uh, yeah. are the ones with big tires. Yes. So this actually, mm -hmm. to me, looks appropriate appropriate yeah except i would love the fact if it drop maybe an inch down a bit mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh, but other than that i think the tires are okay for this for this 30 but if it's a normal cx3 whatever i would say yeah, bigger yeah. Rim, and honestly after experiencing the ride just now i am pretty okay with with this with these tires uh. yeah right yokohama blue earth GT. yeah so if you come from the side here you would see that it has keyless entry and it is touch type keyless entry Right, it's not a button. In the CX-5, it's a button, oh, but it's touch type. Now the key, please. Right. Wait, oh, the key is inside the car. Okay, let's try. Okay. Okay. Let me try. So here's the key. All right. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Ah. Press lock. to lock. And if you if you hold like this, it will the car will be confused. Yeah. All right, so. And I believe, looks... I believe, it has walked away auto door lock. Yeah. Ah, Tana trying to open the door. So ah. I didn't press the key at the whole time, right? Yeah. So this is one feature that Mazda has. Uh, they have had lah this since the previous generation cars walk away auto door lock. So for people who always forget to lock their cars, this is a very useful feature to have. And look at this. This is the new generation Mazda key, right? Looks almost like Volvo's one where the lock and unlock is pressed at the side. Wow. Right. Look at the rims. Look at the lip on the rim. See, normal, normal rims with ground pump because yeah, it's always a uh, look, look here, here on top. Yeah, it always goes inwards, you know. Yeah, but here it's flat throughout. Yeah, so these are actually very hardy rims. Look at that. Wow, look at that. The, the lip yeah. here, yeah, it doesn't go inside. Yeah, well, wow, good work, Mazda. Yeah, that's it. And like just like we saw in the Mazda 3, you notice that on the body, yeah, uh, there's not a lot of complex lines. There's this just this one line, and that's it. Complex curve, lah. Yeah, curves, <laughs> yes. This this car, the design, they really rely on, on curves to bring out the design. Yeah. Which is a very high level of craft. Uh, it's more effort to mm. try to make it molded and fitting through. Yeah. And this is supposed to be a lo the low this end. This is supposed to be the low spec headlights. But it looks good, So right? it's projectors. All right. And I think it's a bulb type DRL here. Oh. Which, which honestly, I think it still, it still looks respectable. Eh? Exactly. Yeah, it still looks respectable for a low spec headlight. This is chrome on the other one? Piano black. Uh. Something, yeah. yeah this so, looks more matte. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, la, something has to be there to remind you that you paid for the cheapest one. Uh. I can't tell apart, honestly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, what I think the important thing is it looks respectable. Uh. I'm sure there are owners out there uh. they will buy the low spec version, high spec version, yeah. and paint it matte black. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So I think it does, it, yeah. it's fine. I wonder how many would, would want to do a chrome deal on this, though. Uh, I've seen a few. You've seen a few, right? I've seen a few. Boot. Boot? Ah, boot. You see, Con and I are both fathers. Yeah. And as, and as fathers, we are very concerned about the boot. Yeah. Boot space. Yeah. So, have they changed anything in the back? Um, Mazda, on all your infinite wisdom, please stop giving this puppet out. Yeah. Yeah, this is. So, you've got the space saver spare. And Why they have... the hell is it all over the place? Oh, it's meant to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's meant okay, to be there. Okay, it's meant to be there. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh, they give you a compressor? A compressor for, for to deal with flats and also first aid kit. Uh, but the boot space is... It's not deep. La. That's it's not issue. deep. Mm. The depth is fine. It's not deep yeah. enough and it stops here. Yeah. So it's quite limited for an SUV. Maybe it's maybe about... I think the X, Subaru X is about the same. Are you serious? Sir? Yeah, got locked. But you have to close it manually, but you can lock it. Oh! Right. So, First time I've seen this. 
Huh? Yes. And lock, lock with no uh, close. Right. Only lock and close. Yeah. So let's like, say right now you try and open the thing. You can. I don't think it can open. Yeah. Yep. I see. Hey, not bad, eh? You see, got two exhausts, eh? Um, ah. So bumpers were black before, but it looks right though with the. It looks right with this lah. It black looks right lah. We had an argument on this before. Ah. Should the is the black a good thing or a bad thing? Mm. And should the black be painted to be black yeah. or left as is? Yeah. How's the rear seat? Let's check it out. Hey. Oh, oh sorry. Killer's entry only on the front of but okay lah, got two sides. Yeah. Yeah. So con is 5758. Yep. 170 centimeters. Average Asian size. Yep. So okay. <laughs> Right, the, the the seat angle is good, gives me the thigh support. Headroom, I've got a fist of headroom above me. The lean is good. Let me see whether I can adjust or not. No, you can't. You can't adjust the, the, the lean. A bit upright lah. I would say it's a bit upright. But uh, based on my sitting position, I've still got a decent amount of, of leg room. No rear blowers like the Mazda 3. But Chiang, did it feel hot for you back here just now? No. Okay, so Chiang found it comfortable enough for him at the back here. I believe the higher spec versions have eight rear blowers. Yeah. So overall very plain. Pl plain at the back, but decent. <laughs> okay, lah, 128k cannot complain. Lah. I buy this over the cross. Same. Same. Thumbs up. Alright. Thank you, Dana. Yes. Until the next video. Uh, of course, yeah, remember if you uh, like this, if you, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a like, uh, thumbs up, share me your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe to Tana's channel as well, please. And, and, and go. And over. yeah, if you guys need any car repairs, <laughs> Plus Performance is the place to go. If you've got car detailing needs, Evo Club Car Wash, contact details here. You can reach out to us and find out what are our latest promos, packages, and if you need any car maintenance or car care advice. Also remember, Tana, Bobby, Thomas and myself are live every Monday to answer your car buying questions if you, if you require any. Alright, so until our next video, take care, stay safe. I'll see you soon.